Hey Curious, here is a very special one for all of you tennis fans, because the emotions are slowly dropping after Saturday's spectacular victory by the Polish tennis player Iga Świątek on the Roland Garros courts during the International Tennis Championship. The French Open winner has been all over the world media, and with her success, she has brought her great pride to all of her compatriots. Why does she have so much passion for the sport? How did she manage to balance her life on the courts and life as a student? What does she like to do when she doesn't have a racket in her hand? Stay with me till the very end to find out about this talented girl. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. In recent years, the country of Poland has had quite a few reasons for pride where the world of sports is concerned. I obviously won't list them all. It is worth noting, however, that in the last weeks, the country has had a series of great victories and awards. At the end of September, Jan Blachowicz won the title of the UFC champion, the world's largest and most prestigious mixed martial arts organization. Bartosz Zmarzlik, a 25-year-old speedway rider, became the world champion for the second time and went down in history of Grand Prix. And of course, we have to mention one person of any soccer fan will be familiar familiar with, and that is Robert Lewandowski, who has won more than one statuette in recent months. The last award was during the UEFA Gala, where he was chosen as the Football Player of the Year and the best forward in the 2019-2020 season. And of course, the star of this video is Iga Świątek. Last week, it was on the young tennis player that the eyes of the entire world were on. And before she reached the final of the French Open, she beat Italian player Martina Trevisan at the Tuesday quarterfinals, and on Thursday in the semifinal, she faced Nadia Podoroska. She won against the Argentinian representative 6-2-6-1 and reached the finals of the most important tennis tournament in the world. Already then, people were predicting her victory, and the media were talking about her chance to become the first ever Polish tennis player to triumph at the Grand Slam tournament. Iga had already made history before she won the finals. She is the youngest participant of the Paris finals since 2001 and is the lowest ranked finalist of the tournament since 1975. For those of you who might not know much about tennis, the lower you are ranked in the sports, the better. Świątek is also the first Polish woman to be in the Roland Garros finals since the beginning of the Open era. Previously, only Jadwiga Jędrzejowska was in the finals of this tournament in 1939. The 19-year-old is one of three Polish women who found themselves in the finals of the Grand Slam in the history of female tennis. The aforementioned Jadwiga lost three times, and once Agnieszka Radwańska, who lost in the Wimbledon finals in 2012 to Serena Williams, 1-6, 7-5, and then 2-6 finally. When 19-year-old Iga faced the biggest opportunity in her career to date, she delighted everyone. The final duel of the Roland Garros took place on Saturday, October 10th. The Polish woman won against the American, Sofia Kenin, beating her competitor in two sets, 6-4 and 6-1. However, those who are a little bit interested in the sport would have certainly heard about Iga before. This girl was already hailed as a great hope of Polish tennis a few years ago. She was predicted to have a bright career and achievements before her. But let's start from the very beginning. Iga Świątek was born on May 31st, 2001 in Warsaw. The passion for sport in her life is no accident. It was her sister, who was three years older than her, who first developed her skill on the tennis court. Iga doesn't hide that she was a great role model in her childhood. She was jealous of the level that her sister played and it motivated her to work harder. So where did Iga's journey begin? She stood on the court for the first time at the age of five. And it soon turned out that she had a great disposition and hard and persistent work on improving her abilities and skills is what led her to the top. Here, it is worth mentioning that the person responsible for instilling a sport spirit and encouraging physical activity when they were little was the work of her dad. Their father, Tomasz Świątek, was born on July 26 of 1946 in Warsaw and is a Polish rower, part of the AZS AWF Warsaw Sports Club and an Olympic athlete. He participated in the World Rowing Championships in Seoul and Nottingham, Copenhagen, Bled and Barrington, among others. The man admitted in one of his interviews that he pushed his daughters in the world of tennis on purpose. He wanted the girls to play an individual sport so they would be responsible for their successes and failures. He relied on his sporting experiences, which were not entirely up to him, but up to the whole team. 
When it came time to the professional game, Agata was left on the side. After years of playing during an intense growth spurt, she had some health problems, and it was said that she decided to just focus on school. However, she did not abandon the sport completely. When her health went back to normal, she returned to the court, but more for herself and her own satisfaction, and not with the mindset of making a sporting career. Today, she is a student at the medical and dental faculty at the Medical University of Lublin, and Iga has fully spread her wings as a tennis champion. The sisters have an extremely close relationship. Now going back to Iga's career, at the age of 15 she knew what she wanted and had ambitious plans for the future. And already then she was called the best Polish junior and one of the few best players under the age of 18. The significant success in her junior career was in 2015 when she began competing in the ITF junior circuit where she won back-to-back -back low level Grand Four titles. Over the following years, there have been so many wins and awards that it is impossible to mention them all here, though I will list some of the notable ones. And among others, in 2017, she became the finalist in the Junior Australian Open and a gold medalist of the Summer Youth Olympic Games in 2018. She also won a gold at the Junior Women's in 2018. It was also the year where she received recognition at the Bodan Tomaszewski Polish Radio Sports Award Gala. All her successes, daily training sessions, and trips to tournaments were consciously combined with school duties. Despite her success in sports, her parents as well as Iga herself realized that if something happened that would exclude her from professional sports, she must have another alternative. There was no time for other distractions or laziness. As she confessed in one of her interviews, a somewhat relaxed day for Iga is only for her Sunday. And although she admitted that when she was younger, she envied her friends for the time that they could spend together, and despite wondering if her sporting dedication makes sense, she never intended to let it go. The ambitious teenager had no plans to rest once all the praise and awards kept rolling in. She planned to continue her success story, winning all the Grand Slams and receiving the gold at the Olympic Games. And just as she dreamed, she did it. The last five years of her life were successfully filling up with achievements until she reached this for the first year's Roland Garros Tournament Cup. And in addition to her great win, the young Pole set new records. Of course, in addition to all of her hard work and talent, the success is influenced by several other factors. Undoubtedly, thanks to having a loving and supportive family, it is easier to reach for more. Iga is also well cared for by the young team. Her coach, Mr. Piotr Sherputovsky, and Daria Abramovich, a sports psychologist, who for the 33rd birthday received a one-of-a-kind gift. And here, I'm talking about the win of one of her charges. For Iga, subordinating your whole life to physical activity proved to be profitable. Life fulfillment and victory is one thing, but in this case, success also comes with a huge amount of money. The 19-year-old girl already has six zero figures in her account. Iga's first winnings a few years ago started from $10,000 to $15,000, and last year she collected as much as $105,000 for the Australian Open tournament, and in this year's Grand Slam Open she received a cash prize of over $201,000. According to the official portal of the World Tennis Association, the Polish woman earned more than $1.1 million on the court before the events of a few days ago. However, thanks to winning the the French Open, this amount also doubled. For winning the quarterfinal, semifinal, and final, she made a fortune of over $1.9 million. The young girl is eager to share her life on Instagram, which currently has nearly 250,000 followers. Posts and photos mostly referring to training sessions, courts, and games. Well, it's not surprising since these activities fill up practically all of her time, but sometimes she also shares photos from her family album. She rests and refreshes her mind by putting together puzzles, and it's easy to see what Iga loves to spend her free time near a body of water or a beach. The young tennis player Playlists often contains music from such artists like Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Coldplay, Pearl Jam, Pink Floyd, and Red Hot Chili Peppers. She also has her idol when it comes to the sport, and that person is Rafael Nadal. A day after Iga's victory, the Spaniard in the men's game had a victory in Paris for the 13th time in his career. 
This is his 20th triumph in a Grand Slam. Shrontek is definitely looking up to the pros. So curious, do you support the young athlete as she furthers her career? Have you watched the most important tournament of her life last week? Will her historic victory awaken some sort of passion for the sport among young girls around the world? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And I will be seeing you tomorrow for the next video.